actually thought they were the most magnificent little animals. Um, they've got very pretty faces. Brushtail rock wallabies are listed as an endangered species. Very distinct white cheek stripe on their face and a really long brushy tail. Uh, so they're a group of local residents and people from further afield um, that have joined together to try and help support the work that National Parks is doing. I really thought I've got to do something with my life before I can't anymore or before it's too late. You know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be in a situation where I could have helped something and didn't. The Friends of the Brushtail Rock Wallaby are really important to the conservation of the species because they are providing the community engagement. So I'm here to basically share my passion for biodiversity. Okay, remember everyone stand back so we don't get a wipe off. It works best when you sort of stay in one position. Because the rock wallaby is a, a local threatened species, we use it as a case study. Those silly humans should never have shipped us foxes over from Europe. It's just, eco is just part of the suite of tools that we have to use to, um, to locate foxes. Uh, it's very early days and Kangaroo Valley has been one of the trial sites to see how these releases would work. If the Friends hadn't formed 20 years ago, the three surviving colonies of brush-tailed rock would have been extinct by now.